Welcome to this two-part video series. In this video, I'm going to cover a 10-point checklist for moderating a usability test. If you've watched the first video in this series, you're ready to conduct a usability study. So let's start with step number one. Welcome the participant. Whether the session is remote or in person, you'll want to greet the participant, introduce yourself, and thank them for agreeing to participate. You will also need to remind them on what the study is for and what they should expect in the session. Step number two, check name pronunciation. You'll want to make sure you check how to pronounce the participant's name, since you may need to use their name to get their attention during the session. If you struggle to remember a pronunciation like I do, perhaps discreetly make a note of the phonetic spelling. Step number three, make the participant aware of observers or recordings you'd like to make. If the session is in person and observers are in the room with you, introduce them to the participant by their first name. If your observers are in another room and the session is remote, it's fine to say that there are a few people from your company who will be observing the session. Step number four, have the participant sign the consent form. If your participant hasn't already signed the consent form ahead of the session, you should allow some time for the participant to read over the document and be able to clarify any details with you before they do sign it. If your consent form provides options for participants to choose from, for example, whether or not they want the session to be recorded, make sure to make a note of their choices and ensure you observe them. Step number five, conduct a short interview if needed. If you're intending to run a short interview with your participants in the session in addition to the usability test, the beginning of the session is usually the best time to do it. Keep your interview short and avoid asking questions which might prime the participant to find the design easier to use. Step number six, manage expectations and ask the participant to think aloud. Before you begin the usability test, you should tell your participants that you'll be testing the design and not them. If they struggle with any tasks, that's a sign that the design needs to be improved. They should feel free to share anything that comes to mind. For example, anything that they think is easy or difficult. You will also want to ask them in this step to think out loud. Step number seven, administer your tasks one at a time. It's a good idea to give the participant the task written down to avoid them keeping the task in their working memory. If you're running the session remotely, you can paste the task instructions into the chat feature. If you're running the session in person, then deliver each task to the user on a printed piece of paper. Ask the participant to read the task out loud, and once they have read it, make sure to ask them if they have any questions about it. If they're happy with the instructions, they should begin the task and think out loud as they work. Step eight, ask follow-up questions. If you have questions about how the participant completed a task, or why they said something during a test, you'll want to ask a follow-up question. Most of your questions should be reserved after the task has been completed or at the end of the test so that you don't distract participants when they're working on a task. You might also have prepared questions that you will ask after each task. For example, what did you think about doing this activity on the website? Step number nine, check if observers have any questions. After you've run all your tasks and asked all your questions, it's nice to check with your observers if they have any outstanding questions. You can allow them to ask the participant the question directly, or you can ask the questions for them. Step 10, thank the participant for their time and end the session. Make sure to tell the participant the session was useful. End the recording and the meeting, or see the participant out of the lab. And there you have it. You're now ready to run your own usability test session. Good luck.